Hi, I'm Finn from Bag Riders, and I'm here to talk about relays. A relay is a type of switch that is triggered by another power source. It's like turning on a light switch, but instead of using your hand, it's done with a positive power wire. In the air ride world, these are almost always used to turn on your air compressor. We'll talk about their use with air compressors, but they can also be used in other ways in more advanced air management system setups. So how does it work? Most relays have a diagram on them that shows what each connection does. The relays we sell have four connections. A positive 12 volt switching source, commonly an ignition source, a ground source, commonly a chassis or negative battery terminal, a positive 12 volt power source, commonly a positive battery terminal, and finally, a connection point to power on your air compressor. This is usually a red wire on the air compressor. We sell a few different styles depending on your use. We have a standard 12 volt 40 amp relay with spade connections, a waterproof 12 volt 40 amp relay with wire connections, and a heavy duty 12 volt 80 amp relay with stud connections. First up, is your standard relay. This is good for a standard single compressor mounted inside the car. You can use a second one for a second compressor. We also sell these in a kit with wire and connectors. Next up is the waterproof relay. This is good for a standard single compressor mounted outside the car. And you can use a second one for a second compressor. This is a perfect replacement for an Airlift Autopilot V2 or 3P slash 3H system. Finally, we have the heavy duty relay. This is good for one or two standard compressors. This also can be used for high power compressors like the Air Zenith OB2, which can pull more than 40 amps. Let's talk about choosing the right relay. All the relays and compressors we sell run on 12 volts, so they are all compatible. Make sure to use a relay that can handle the current or amps of your compressor. Running too much power through a relay will cause it to fail and can cause other electrical issues. If you're having issues with a relay, here are a few things that you can check on to see what the issue might be. First, check that all of your connections are secure. Next, test wires for adequate power and ground. Also ensure you have a good grounded connection straight from the battery is best. Keep note that relays may wear out over time or could fail. In that case, replacing is the best option. Now that you understand what a relay is, you can check out bagriders.com where we have a wide variety of relays in different styles, including brand specific replacements. As always, if you have any more questions, leave a comment down below, send us an email, or give us a call. We'd love to help.